What's going on guys? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We are here on Western Wild Survival Series. And as you can see, we got our uh, cedar hooked up. I went ahead and filled up what we had left here as, as far as fertilizer. Uh, put that into the cedar. And we need to actually go ahead and fast forward the time. So let me... Shut that off so we're not wasting fuel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleep until the next morning. And that will put us into August, which is uh, the time that we need to plant uh, seed uh, canola. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's start at 8 o'clock. That should be plenty of time to get it done. Uh, we're going to go up to the store and get some seed. And then uh, start seeding that big field there and then I'm actually going to end up putting in another field um, today and that is going to be a grass field now uh, the reason why is because a couple of people have brought up in the comments that uh, we could have just put grass in that field over there that I, I took out but uh, I wanted that field completely gone so but having grass is a great idea uh, you know that we can get a higher yield out of. Yes, there's plenty of grass that we could just cut and whatnot. But if we, you know, do a field of grass, we can, you know, fertilize and all that stuff and get a higher yield out of the grass to uh, feed our animals in the future. So we'll go ahead and get that plowed in today and probably go ahead and put some, uh, some grass seed down and, uh, just have it there ready to go whenever we need it because we don't have anything to do grass equipment yet uh it's gonna be a small field so yeah that's that's what we're looking at doing today so we are in august and uh that is the month that we need for canola we got our cedar hooked up on our new tractor and we're gonna head up to the store get some seed and come back down and get started on this field so Let's talk a little bit while I'm driving up there. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you're doing wonderful. I'm doing fantastic uh, at the time of this recording. Hopefully the power doesn't go out because we're currently getting that, uh, that tropical depression, tropical storm, whatever it is at this point. I don't even know anymore. Um, uh, down here in the south. So, yeah. Uh, it's raining a lot. There's some wind going on and uh it's not looking very pretty outside so <laughs> yeah hopefully uh hopefully the power doesn't go out while i'm doing this um yeah so let's get up here to the store and get this cedar and i'll see you guys when we get back down to the field all right we are down here at the field we got all filled uh filled up with fertilizer and seed and let's uh let's get this thing lined up here and see if we can figure out the buttons for this thing. I gotta remap a couple of my controls. Um, Alright, so number two, number one. Let's see. Alright, so that lowers it. That folds it, so unfold. That turns it on. Alright. So if I do that, then realistically we should be putting some product down on the field. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so uh, there was something I was going to bring up. What was it? It is completely... Oh, yes, I remember. Um... How did you guys like the time lapse, like the balance between uh, showing work and the time lapse and uh, just making cuts? How did you guys like the balance of that in the last two episodes? So I, I record these episodes two at a time uh, so I can have one ready for Monday and then one ready for Friday. Uh, so if you don't see any changes made in the next episode on like maybe a suggestion you made and I replied in a comment, then that's why. Uh, because the episode is already pre-recorded. 
uh, both episodes are pre-recorded for the week and uh, so yeah it'll be the next uh, the following episode after the Friday episode that I uh, make any changes or anything uh, as far as suggestions or anything but uh, yeah so how did you guys like the, the balance between the time lapse and stuff and the cuts and uh, showing the work being done uh, should we continue doing that? Uh, this episode, I probably won't do time lapse. I'll probably just go ahead and cut. So it'll probably give you a good comparison between the two on work in this field, on whether or not you like the, the time lapse or show a little bit and make a cut and show the finished product. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought about that. And uh, as far as Let's see what was there was there was another thing that I was gonna bring up. It is currently well, it's actually eight o'clock in the morning now, but I've been up. I got up at I don't know about four o'clock this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm still trying to wake up. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna throw canola down in this field. And I'm not too concerned, honestly, if I miss little bits and pieces on the edges. I'm trying to overlap into the into the grass a little bit just to make sure I get it all. But, uh, yeah, we'll be all right. So, uh, there was another series that I ended up recording. So, I know I, I had originally said that Tuesday and Thursday there wouldn't be... Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday there wouldn't be a video. But I ended up having a little bit of extra time after editing some stuff. Um, and decided to give that series a shot, and that is the Dark Forest uh, time lapse survival series, 24 hour time lapse uh, survival. Let me know what you guys thought about that in the comments below. Should we continue that, or should I just go ahead and finish recording the 24 hours and just release them all at once as a uh, kind of like a binge playlist of the series. Uh, I want to try to keep those at about 15 minutes, so I speed them up four times. Uh, so an hour's worth of recording gives me um, four 15-minute episodes. Um, or, I'm sorry. Wow. What am I... One hour of playtime gives you one... 15 minute episode sped up four times so <laughs> yeah wow <laughs> okay like I said it's still early I'm waking up anyways um, yeah let me know what you guys think about that series I do have so episodes 1, 2, and 3 are already out uh, and you guys can head over and watch those in the playlist um, I do have Episodes 5, 6, and 7 is already recorded. Um, and I think I just have to uh, I have to edit episode 5 and 6. I'm sorry, 4, 5, and 6 are already recorded. And I think I just have to episode uh, edit episodes uh, 5 and 6 at this point. But... Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that series. Should we continue that? Should we do that with some other maps on uh, on Farm Sim? Uh, or should we just not do the time-lapse series at all? Uh, now, there is another map that I have on the list to play. Uh, not necessarily as a time-lapse, but maybe an additional series. Uh, it won't really be a role-play. It won't really be a survival uh, it won't really be your normal playthrough. Like, it, it's kind of like a hybrid between a roleplay and your regular playthrough series. It's hard to explain. Uh, I don't want to give out the idea of that just yet. Because I, I gotta make sure that map is solid and ready to go. Uh, but... I think it's a really interesting idea. I don't think I've seen it anywhere. Uh, maybe wrong. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so I have another map in, in, in mind and another series in mind. So if you guys would rather 
do that like just go ahead and jump into that new series idea that I have instead of continuing the time-lapse series let me know in the comments below um, or if you would uh, rather finish out the time-lapse series and then jump into the new one or release the rest of the time-lapse series all in one shot so you guys can binge it and go ahead and move on to the next map yeah there's a couple of there's a couple of routes we can go with that so uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that down in the comments and I'll uh, take a look at those over the next couple of days and make a decision and possibly next week we can start on the new series depending on uh, what you guys would like to see so I know it's kind of hard to make a decision on that because the map like, like you don't know which map it is you don't really know what the idea is but I, I don't know like so okay so let me uh, I'll give you a little hint on what the series is it's kind of like I'm gonna have decent equipment and maybe some decent money and it's gonna be a farm revival kind of series not necessarily my own farm that I'm reviving, but other farms on the map. You know what I mean? And you might be wondering, well, which map is it? Because most maps already have farms that are pretty decent on the map. And you're right, yes. There are uh, pretty decent farms on maps already. But uh, this particular map, and you probably already know which one it is, uh, just by saying that, uh, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of the idea that I have. It's kind of like a revival where I'm going around, I'm reviving all these other people's farms on the map with my equipment and my money, um, yeah, so, and then there's other possibilities on that map as well, so, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll take a look at those over the next couple of days and uh, make a decision on what we're going to do as far as that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at with everything. And this tractor is kind of struggling in a couple of spots here and there, but we should be all right. We'll uh, finish off this headland pass here. And uh, get into our up downs. This is gonna take a little while, and it is eating through fertilizer. So you can see we only have eight hundred and seventy-nine dollars, which is gonna be a problem as far as getting more fertilizer. Uh, so actually, we slept the night, so I'll check the lettuce and see if we have any lettuce available to uh, to sell. And also, that brings up another point somebody brought up in the comments that the uh, train has a low uh, train car for selling the pallets and stuff so the front loader will load those up over uh, to be able to sell those so we'll definitely be uh, taking those down to the train yard to sell uh, down there so I think I'm probably gonna do three headland passes around this and then start the up downs maybe Oh, we're back at the beginning. Yeah, we can go ahead and start our up-downs where we started here. So we'll, we'll do our up-downs here uh, from this point. But uh, yeah, we're almost out of fertilizer now. So I'll have to see what we have as far as the lettuce and uh, go from there. Hopefully it'll give us enough money to fund the rest of the fertilizing. If not, that's fine. We can go ahead and continue seeding. And I'll just fill up the spreader and bring the spreader out to finish fertilizing it. Um... Uh, now, as far as weeds go, we're going to have to take care of the weeds. We don't have any liquid sprayers or anything. Uh, we don't have a weeder. Uh, so we'll have to take a look at that in the farm store and see what we can get. But uh, uh, we also need to look at getting the scout so we can start taking soil samples over our field. Um... And there was another piece of equipment 
that I was going to look into getting that I cannot remember. I'll have to refer back to the comments uh, to uh, see what that was. I was I wrote it down somewhere. I just don't know where it's at. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get this field knocked out. And I will bring you guys back in in just a little bit. Alright, yeah, we got this field done. Finally. That uh, took a little while, actually. But, uh, yeah, it's done. Got it all seeded. As you can see, we only got fertilizer down on the headlands. So we'll have to see about possibly getting some more fertilizer. So you can see that we are down to $694. I had to re refuel the tractor uh, and all of that. So we still have plenty of seed left in this thing. So we're just going to go ahead and park it right over here next to the trailer so uh, we actually already have a weeder I made a mention earlier about uh, needing a weeder but I want to take that weeder and sell it so we can get a hoe uh, the reason I want to do that is because this one only gets rid of small weeds uh, the hoe gets rid of all of it and uh, you obviously getting rid of weeds you get a 20% uh, yield bonus. It's 15 or 20 percent. I can't remember exactly, but uh, anyways, that's a that's a uh, very good yield boost. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this, and I uh, will meet you guys up at the store so we can pick up our new hoe. All right, we're here at the store. We're gonna go ahead and drop this weeder over here and uh, get it sold. So we'll pull into the box. And go ahead and drop that right there. Pull the tractor out of the way. Hop out here and go ahead and sell it. We should get about 7,000 or so for this, I believe. Yes, yeah, 7,800, which is great. Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about... I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and repaint. So we're up to eight grand. Uh, we'll sell that. All right, so we have $8,500. We'll go ahead and hop in here and pull over around to the store and pick up our hoe. So we'll park this right here off to the side. Go ahead and shut it off so we're saving some fuel there. Uh, let's go in here and we go into weeders and scroll... Wait a minute. Oh, I hit wind rowers. Weeders. Here we go. So this is a mod. Uh, I believe it's in the mod hub. Uh, it's 5250. It's a John Deere. So we'll go ahead and set that up. You can get a triangle on it. That's interesting. Rect uh, reflector strips. For the triangle and reflector strips. Uh, I don't think we're going to worry about that, to be honest. Uh, guide cutters. Or coulters. Nah. We'll just leave it how it is. And go ahead and pick that up. $5,200. And get this fired up. And we'll hook up to this and go down to the farm. And uh, we'll uh, swap over to the plow. And get that grass field plowed in. That I was talking about earlier. Um... Also, there was a mention in the comments about uh, doing root crops. So, real quick, let's hop in here. Uh, pigs is what we're going to be doing on this farm. So, if we go down into the help menu and we take a look at, I believe... Okay. Uh, as soon as cows and pigs are fed, they produce slurry which is collected either in a slurry tank or a pit. So uh, with pigs, we're going to be getting slurry. And the slurry then can be used to either sell, if there's a slurry sell point, or use it as, uh, I believe, fertilizer. So um, what we need for pigs is so we can feed them corn, wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybean, potatoes, sorghum, and sugar beets. So sugar beets and potatoes, root crops. Um, 
or the two the two main root crops. So I'm not a big fan of doing root crops, honestly, because the harvesters are very small. But uh, I think it'd be interesting to do uh, at some point because I don't really do root crop a whole lot. You know, I, I like to add new challenges and doing a series on here uh, is kind of opening me up to new new things that I don't really do a whole lot of. So, like, I, I've never really messed with pigs a whole lot. So, we're going to go ahead and do pigs. So, that'll be an interesting uh, thing to do to add. And then, uh, you know, root crops would be something interesting to add since I don't do that a whole lot. Um, and then horses, we're going to get into horses eventually. Uh, I Honestly, I've only ever messed with horses and... Uh, FS19 so and and that was very very little that I've messed with those um, so yeah we'll, uh, we'll we'll get into all that stuff I want to try new things different things um, as we progress through the series so that's kind of the route that I'm thinking we're gonna go but uh, let me get down here to the farm I'll pick up the plow and we'll get to plowing that new grass field in and uh, probably go ahead and see that all right we've got our plow and we're gonna come out here to the left side we're gonna make a left out of here we're gonna come out to this side of the property and plow in a field in this uh, little strip of land that we own over here um, also one other thing I want to bring up is should I turn on the mod for uh, free landscaping now the only reason I, w I would do that is because it is just so unrealistically expensive to do any kind of landscaping or anything uh, in in this game for some reason I have no idea why it's so expensive but uh, yeah as you guys saw I believe it was the last episode when we were gonna just you know bring that uh, field back to a you know natural land state uh, we were putting the grass down and it drained a lot of money very quickly when I went to put the grass in so yeah I I just I, I don't think it's realistically priced so should we turn on free landscaping uh, let me know down in the comments below but uh, this is where we're going to be putting our new field in. This is going to take a little while with this uh, set up to do. So we'll go ahead and do the headland pass here so you guys can kind of see how big this field is going to be for grass. And uh, then we'll go from there. Uh, I may end up actually fast forwarding time uh, to harvest season. And uh, you guys will get uh, a harvest session in this episode as well. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how time goes. I think right now the, the episode is kind of dragging on a little long, possibly. I don't know. I'll have to edit and see where I'm at, but, uh, yeah, that's what we're, uh, that's what we're looking at doing. So let's get down here. This is, this is actually going to be quite a big field for grass. And I'm kind of not keeping this line straight. But uh, that'll be alright. That'll be alright. Now I could have just cut the grass that's here. Uh, for grass. But uh, having a field of grass. Separately that you can fertilize. And lime. And, and weed. And all that stuff. Uh, you get a better yield of grass. Uh, which is always a bonus. Uh, you definitely want the most yield you can get, especially right now in the early stages of this farm. Uh, the more yield, the more money, you know. So, uh, we have not produced any pallets of lettuce. So, fast forwarding time will also get us uh, some pallets to work with on the lettuce. Uh, that we can sell and make some more money. I am all over the place with this this field, but uh, that'll be all right. So, 
thinking that's kind of where we're going to go with it. I don't know if I want to go around that tree or stay off. You know, I'm going to stay off the road and just stay on this side of the tree. So we'll just, we'll cut it in right about, probably right about here. Yeah, that'll be good. Right on the edge of the tree. Because uh, we've got to remember we're going to be using bigger equipment at some point on these fields. So uh, we definitely want to make sure we're not too close to poles and trees and all that stuff. So we can uh, maneuver our big equipment around. And then uh, same with these telephone poles. These power poles will stay on this side of the power poles. So we'll go ahead and make a cut there and then we'll just follow the power poles up and reconnect our uh, headland up there at the beginning so uh, that's uh, gives you kind of an idea of how big this field is going to be for grass I think it's a fair, uh, fair size uh, field uh, for starting out with grass and uh, yeah let me get this all knocked out and I'll bring you guys back in all right, you guys, we are on our final last little bit here of putting seed down, grass seed, into uh, this new field. And that is the last bit of it right there. Just want to make sure I get everything under this tree. It's kind of hard to see, so I had the headlights on there. But, uh, yep, that is done. The field is ready to go. And we still haven't put any fertilizer on this, uh, the rest of the field over here. We're at $2,500. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to concern myself with buying fertilizer for the... Maybe I should. Let's go over here and see if we have any lettuce uh, available to sell. Uh, sell. If not, then I don't think I'm going to worry about doing fertilizer on that field this time around. Uh, definitely will do that next time. So we're going to drop that right there. And let's go see. I don't think we do. Yeah, we have we have a little bit. So we got, let's see, one, two, three pallets. So we'll go ahead and sell those just to get a little bit of extra money. So we'll come over here and get our front loader attachment onto the tra uh, tractor. And... Uh, grab our trailer, get that loaded up real quick. All right. So I don't think I'm gonna get to harvesting this episode. Next episode, we will definitely be harvesting our canola field. Uh, I just I, I don't want this episode to run on too long. Uh, I don't really know where I'm at on the time because of how I record these. I need to grab that weight. I don't think I need it for the lettuce, uh, but I just, anytime I'm dealing with pallets or logs or anything with the front loader, I just go ahead and throw the weight on there. Uh, which is why I like to get the one that has the ability to pull a trailer. So, let's switch back over to the tractor. Get that loaded up. There we go. And bring this on over here to load them up. Uh, there was a mention in the comments about that uh, the lettuce pallets are, are light enough to pick up without, uh, like, super strength. Which, uh... I believe I think that's uh, I think that's correct if I remember right yeah let us you can pick up so let's just yeah see I can't pick it up yeah it's too light or right, it's uh, too heavy I thought there was the ability to pick up or maybe it's a different one that I, I don't know I can't really remember but uh, either either way uh, I didn't want to do super strength just to keep it as survival as possible. Um, you know, super strength is one of those things that I want to use only if I absolutely have to. Like if I get stuck on something uh, or if something's just not working correctly. Uh, then I'll throw super strength on to uh, sort out the situation. 
But uh, other than that, I, I don't really want to use it. Um, unless we absolutely have to. So, that's where we're at on that. Um, uh, let's see. I think, I, I think I'll just kind of stick them out. I'm not going to worry too much about getting them super... Oh! Super squared <laughs> onto the trailer because we only have three of them, so... I'll go ahead and get these other two loaded up and we'll start making our way down to the store and I'll bring you right back. Alright, we got those loaded up. I just left that other one on the front forks there. Uh, we're actually, we're not going to go to the store. We're going to go down to the train yard and uh, sell them there since we have the front loader. And we can pick them up onto that flatbed trailer or flatbed train car and uh, sell them that way. So, things are looking good on the farm. We got this field all done. Very nice this field we just finished up and we're sitting at $2,500 so we're going to see where this puts us at and then uh, possibly get enough fertilizer just to finish up that other field and from there I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to get done covered in this episode let me think on that while I'm driving down here and I will bring you guys back in all right, we're down here at the cell point, and let's get this up here. There we go. See how much that gives us. We got twelve hundred dollars for that, plus twenty-eight dollars for an envi uh, environmental score. That's interesting. Because we were losing money with uh, logging. So, that's interesting. Let's see if I can get this on here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. <laughs> These pallets are... Uh, Still kind of tricky to work with. It's definitely an improvement from FS19, though. That is 100% for sure. Definitely an improvement. Um, and you can see also with the bales is the same kind of setup as this right here. So that's awesome. Good to know that. So we got 1,200 there. Another 28 for the environmental score. So we're looking good on money. We're at 5000 So this should give us up to just over $6,000 to work with. And we'll uh, possibly get some fertilizer. Now, fertilizer is expensive. But we should be okay. All right, we'll get this last one sold. Six thousand, six thousand four hundred and twenty-five dollars. So we're looking good there. And so at this point, we'll go back to the farm. We'll drop off this trailer. And actually, we may go down and pick up a couple bags of fertilizer, pallets of fertilizer. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me go to the, uh, let me go up to the store real quick and I'll pick up some fertilizer and then meet you guys back at the farm. Alright, we're back at the field here. And we're gonna go ahead and get this going. Throw down what we have. I didn't buy a whole lot of fertilizer, uh, just because I didn't want to drain our money. I think we're gonna be okay with what we have, maybe to uh, finish up the rest of this field. If not, that'll be okay. We'll just you know go with part of the field not being fertilized uh, for this round. And uh, we'll definitely fully fertilize it next time. So we may have to... Well, yeah, we're going to have to put another second round of fertilizer on this field 
but again we're, we're running into low money I didn't want to drain the money down too low this time we're at twenty seven hundred dollars which is uh, still pretty low but it's better than what we've been finishing it off at you know at like 800 bucks so uh, yeah I think uh, I think we're in a good spot as far as money for right now I may need to do a front wait a minute why is this oh it's because I lowered it that's why I was gonna say wait a minute this has never been a problem before all right but uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and throw down uh, all of this fertilizer on this field and then bring you guys back in. I'll probably go ahead and advance it to the next day so it's daylight again. And then uh, I'll bring you guys back in. Alright, you guys, we were able to get that entire field fertilized. So we are good to go on that. And I went ahead and slept to advance it to the next day. And we have put this tractor to work today. We got a lot of stuff done. Uh, we got the field done. As it, actually, as you can see, it's starting to sprout in now. So, that is awesome. We got that fertilizer down just in time. And our yield is at 63%. It could probably be better. Uh, I know for sure it could be better, actually. So, yeah, that's what we're looking at there. Let's go take a little peek at our grass field. Looks like that's sprouting as well. So, we'll go uh, check that out. Now, the yield is not going to be that great on this one. Uh, we didn't do very much. All I did was lime it and then throw some grass down. Uh, well, we're ex expected yield is at, uh, 63%, so, uh, there's that. So, here's, uh, something that I, I was thinking about earlier when, so, when I was reading the comments about, you know, uh, putting grass down over there in that field that we took out instead of planting, and I believe the grass was the same texture uh in fs19 so yeah that would have been the better way to go there because yeah absolutely it would have been cheaper just to throw grass down and leave it there uh but yeah i i couldn't remember if grass was a different texture in this when it's planted uh as you know compared to the uh base texture uh like painted in grass so that was that was kind of another reason why i was holding off on uh, uh, saying much about that but yeah I wanted to make sure um, but yeah anyways uh, that's where we're that's what we're looking at here on this field we do have some stones in here we'll have to you know take care of at some point but uh, we won't worry about that uh, we got stones in this one as well we'll, we'll pick all these stones up and uh, eventually pr we'll probably just stockpile them uh, because you don't get much for stones at the de uh, debris crusher. We'll probably put in like a lime production plant at some point and uh, start making our own lime. Uh, that way we can save money there uh, later on. So that's what we're looking at. This is where we're at. We've got our canola growing there. We have our grass growing over there, which the grass we're not going to worry too much about anytime soon, I don't think. Well, maybe, maybe soon. We'll, we'll see. Uh, because I definitely want to get the animals going. And we have actually three more pallets of lettuce that are ready to sell. So we'll have to take care of that in the next episode. As well as harvesting our canola field. And don't forget to leave a comment down below if you think we should just turn on free landscaping. The, the free landscaping mod. That way we don't have to worry about costs as far as that. Because they're extremely expensive and unrealistic. Um, yeah, we got to look at getting this barn taken down and start putting in some storage, you know, shed buildings and stuff around here to store our equipment because we're, we're starting to grow our equipment here pretty good. Uh, and that right there, I have a plan for that guy. We'll see. Depending on if we decide to do free landscaping or not. We'll see. Um... Maybe next episode. Maybe. Uh, so yeah, we got we got a couple of upgrades. You know, we ch uh, oh this right here. I did swap out the cultivator. Uh, this one is just slightly bigger and has a slightly faster working speed. So I picked up this one and sold the other one. I don't know if I pointed that out earlier. Uh, then obviously we got our new uh, hoe right here instead of a weeder, so we can get rid of all the weeds. 
So uh, that's where we're at, you guys. And uh, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, feel free to comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one.